The transmission company of Nigeria has been criticized by some power sector stakeholders for alleged, allegedly making excuses for the perennial failure of the energy supply chain in Nigeria. Most of the criticism notes that TCN is a member of this supply chain and cannot excuse itself from the failures of critical stakeholders in their supply chain to meet and discuss their challenges and develop a long-term integrated strategy to deal with the problems, as well as hold to account members of the supply chain who fail to meet their delivery targets. The company's attempt earlier in the week to apparently dissociate itself from the lingering power crisis has been described as a typical response from a government agency that has failed to perform, something that many say has been holding down Nigeria's economic development. Joining us now to have a discussion around this is Pascal Egwim, Director General and Chief Executive Officer at Imo State Bureau of Public Procurement and Price Intelligence, and a former lead consultant on World Bank Reform and Economic Project. Good morning, Chief Egwim. Good to have you join us. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you Good very morning. much. Good morning. Yeah, thanks, thanks for having me. You're welcome. Well, you know the crisis that uh, practically everybody is going through, the energy crisis in Nigeria and globally, shall we say. Uh, but then people say that we thought uh, that the, the present administration was going to grow the GDP, but the GDP that is being grown now uh, is the gas, diesel, and petrol, and people are complaining uh, badly of the effect of this other GDP uh, that is, you know, stifling production, that is putting people, people on the edge. Who do you think should be blamed? We have said something about the TCN trying to dissociate itself uh, from what is happening. But then, uh, where do we put the blame? What exactly is happening, and what do you think can be done uh, to... Uh, reduce the sufferings of Nigerians as far as uh, the energy crisis is concerned? Yeah, thank you very much. I'm, I don't like the word blame mm. uh, because uh, I, don't, I, I don't like to blame people. We can only critique uh, the process. In the power, in the power sector, there, there is a supply chain. I play in the supply chain arena, in the procurement and supply chain arena. And um, it's expected that once anybody is appointed to any role, the first thing you have to do is to analyze your supply chain and your value chain and determine how your services fit into the value chain and the supply chain. In the power sector, I'm, I'm, I just wonder sometimes whether anybody or the key players in the sector sit down to analyze their supply chain. For instance, the Jenkos are generating power. The TCN is transmitting this power. And the discos are delivering the power to the consumers, that's the end users. Each of them has a role to play in this supply chain. They, are, they must sit down together and have a smooth handshake. The Jenkos must know how much power they are supposed to generate and the discos are expecting this amount of power to deliver to the end users. If there is a gap, how is that gap filled? And what are the bottlenecks? The, the three players, in addition to the regulator himself, the regulator, which is any ROC, is supposed to set standards and, and, and develop processes and procedures to be followed for that supply chain to work effectively. And then go back later to check for compliance. If all these are not working, then the problem continues. I'll give you another example. If the Genco is supposed to deliver like uh, 5,000 kilowatts of power, and they are not able to deliver that. What does the service level agreement with TCN say? If there is no service level agreement between them and TCN or the discos, then they will just be costing along. There must be delivery targets set for each of the key stakeholders in the supply chain. And anybody who is not meeting his delivery target needs to say why. And if he needs help, he needs to say where he needs help. Quite often in Nigeria, we hear about uh, a water shortage at 
the Taiji Dam. We know that during the dry season in this country, the, the level of water will always go down. But what are the managers of that facility doing to seek alternative sources of power to augment whatever they can deliver during that period of the year? So there needs to be an integration. There needs to be an integrated approach to managing the supply chain in the power sector. That's what I think. All right, Mr. Egg, I'm still talking about the supply chain and some of the bottlenecks in there. One of the reasons that the uh, Genco is attributed to a uh, poor generation is a poor supply of gas, as well as, you know, um, faults in the generating unit. So you also have scheduled and unscheduled maintenance processes. Let's talk about the long term issues. Um, I mean, um, solutions to address some of these existing issues, because they have, in fact, said that they've made these complaints. So they've just not been addressed for the long term. Could we talk about that? Yeah, long term, for instance, like I suggested, there needs to be a detailed supply chain analysis. Can you hear me? Yes, we, yes, can, we hear can hear you. you. Okay, what I'm, what I'm saying is that there needs to be a detailed analysis of the su entire supply chain to know where there are issues and then determine how to find solutions to those problems. If you take the Jenkos and the Discos, for instance, the first question to ask is, since they took over responsibility from the old NEPA, what have they done to increase the, their capacity? What, is, what have they done to increase their asset base to be able to achieve their delivery targets? Because if they, are, if, if they are still managing the old asset base of old NEPA, then there's a problem. It means they're not growing their, their capacity to meet the demands of Nigerians. So there needs to be a, a serious analysis of that supply chain. If the issue is gas supply, who is supplying the gas? What are his issues for not delivering the gas on time? Do they have service level agreements how much gas do they expect? Are they meeting the delivery targets? If they're not meeting the delivery targets, somebody needs to find out why are the delivery targets not being met? Is it that they don't have the capacity or that they don't have the technical ability to do that? So there needs to be a comprehensive analysis of the power supply chain in this country. If, if we're having issues, we can learn from other countries. Just nearby Ghana here, our neighbors, you can hardly hear of uh, power failure in Ghana. Hardly. What are they doing? We need to be benchmarking our processes with other, other countries in the world if we want to grow. All right, Hello? Mr. Mr. Egrim, can, can, you, can you hear us? It, it looks like we lost you yes. momentarily there. Okay, I can hear you now. All right, if you can just land on your thoughts there so that um, it looks like we're having challenges with the, uh, with the network. But if you can land on your thoughts, that would be nice, uh, as yeah. you were saying. Yes. Yeah, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is that uh, in the power sector, there is need to carry out a detailed supply chain analysis. Yeah. To determine, to determine what are the requirements from the major stakeholders in that supply chain and determine what are the delivery targets. People cannot just be coasting along. They must be given targets. If, if, the, if a, a target of 3,000 or 5,000 megawatts or kilowatts of power is given to a Genko and they cannot deliver that, what's the penalty for that? There must be an SLA that tells you that if you don't deliver this amount of power, this is the penalty. And if you deliver more than this amount of power, this is the benefit you get. There must be, must be something to be something to be something to be. Something to be. So, the, and, and that is what the supply chain analysis will do for you. If you get an expert in to analyze your supply chain and find out where are the bottlenecks, and where are the weaknesses? What, where are, what are the strengths and weaknesses? It's, it's very simple to do. 
All, all right, Mr. Edwin. In this country, we just embark. That's, that's noted. I mean, I would have loved to ask you, you know, a lot more questions, but it looks like we're having challenges with the uh, network over there. So I'm afraid I will have to uh, cut it short there.